To commemorate the centenary of Anzac Day, the Alfred Deakin Prime Ministerial Library is hosting A Camera on Gallipoli, an exhibition that showcases a unique series of First World War photographs. Entry to the exhibition is free and it is on until the 12th of June, so make sure you come down and have a look at these incredible photographs. Today I am joined by Kristen Thornton, who is the Special Collections Librarian at the Alfred Deakin Prime Ministerial Library. Thank you so much for having us today, Kristen. Can you tell us a little bit about your role here at the library? Hi Tara, great to have you here. Um, I look after special collections at the library, so that's rare books and other items that don't fit in the general collection, but I also look after this gallery. So I look after what exhibitions come in, um, when they come in, schedule them, that sort of thing. We do our own exhibitions sometimes, but we get touring exhibitions from other venues, like this one, for instance. Great. And with A Camera on Gallipoli, which is the exhibition you have at the moment, what can the public expect to see when they come and visit this exhibition? It's a great insight into what it was actually like at Gallipoli. The chap who took these photos was there on the spot at the time. So these are real photos of what it was like, what the troops were doing, uh, what the terrain was like and what they were going through. It's, it's a real eye-opener to what things were like at Gallipoli. Yes, now some of the images are a bit graphic. They, I'm guessing, weren't released at the time, around the time of uh, the First World War, and it's probably only recently that they've been released to the public. Is that correct? People weren't encouraged to take photos. I mean, soldiers these days still aren't encouraged to take their own photos, but it happens, and it happened back then as well. So these were private photos that he took himself, and so they were meant for him and his family and his friends. They weren't ever meant for release. So, But it is great that, I mean, they are graphic, but it is a, a, a real representation of what things were like. So it's great to have that record. Yes. Now, is there one uh, photograph here which you think captures the essence of the entire exhibition? Um, I, they are graphic, I know, um, but to me, the... There was a, an armistice. The, the Turkish troops and the Australian troops had a, had a little armistice in order to bury their dead. So there was no shooting, no nothing. Everyone came together to collect their dead and bury their dead. I, I find that very moving and I think that sums up what uh, a lot of the feeling about Gallipoli is these days, uh, about Turkey and about Australia and about our role there. So, yeah. yeah absolutely. Now, this is a touring exhibition. I hear you have it for a few years. I was wondering, are you, want, are you planning on touring it to any other parts of Victoria or Australia? Deakin is a, a multi-campus university, so hopefully our campuses at Warrnambool and possibly at Burwood will be seeing this sometime over the, over the next few years. So, yeah, definitely. That's great. And has there been a, a positive response from people who have come in to see the exhibition? Yeah, people seem to be really enjoying it. They're reading the captions, looking through it very carefully and, and really enjoying it and finding it very interesting. Great. And when can people come and look at these incredible photographs? We're open Monday to Friday from 10 till 4 and it closes on uh, 12th of June. Okay, great. Thank you so much for having us, Kristen. It's a pleasure, Tara. Thank you. At Deacon Waterfront opposite Cunningham Pier, this is Tara Vag for News Geelong.